Well, uh, then in 2000, you played Little Richard. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, I mean, this is a very iconic musician here. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Can't get more iconic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, Prince, you could definitely say modeled himself after Little Richard. Um, to some degree, yeah, definitely. I think Little Richard would take that credit. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Little Richard was still alive uh, during the time that you were filming this. And I guess at one point, Little Richard was on set while you were working, and you actually had to kick Little Richard off because you said there could only be one Little Richard at a time. Yeah. I mean, he was in my line of sight. You know, when I was doing a scene, when I was about to do a scene, I'm like, I can't do that. You know, I can't be... Little Richard and Little Richard be there. I mean, there's only one Little Richard on set. So he understood. He was cool. He knew my dedication to it. So, yeah. How did Little Richard feel about, you know, the way you portrayed him? Um, he, he, he liked it. Um, you know, I think his one comment said that I did a very good job, except that, um, that he was prettier. <laughs> And I said, I said, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, I mean, Little Richard definitely made himself pretty in his heyday. I mean, with the uh, hair and the makeup and everything. Dude, he was, he dude. If you look at pictures of Little Richard in the late fifties, early sixties, dude, he was a stud. Great, great face, great cheekbones, everything. Man, he was a good looking guy. Oh yeah, man, an icon. Uh, rest in peace, Little Richard. One oh, of yes. the one of the fathers of rock and roll, really. Architect. Yeah. As he like to say. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. And you got an Emmy nomination for that uh for that role. Um, no, I was supposed to get an Emmy nomination. I didn't. Oh. I was, oh. I was what happened with that? I was projected to win the Emmy by both trade publications. And um man, I don't know. Maybe I didn't have the machinery behind me. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know Politics. much I don't I don't know much about that world. I know I yeah. I, 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 know how, I know how to act. And produce yep. and sing. <laughs> uh, now you were in uh, the Muhammad Ali film, but you had kind of a smaller role, right? You no, know, no, I took an uncredited role. Okay. Yeah, I um, I met with um, Michael Mann, who I was a fan of, and uh, he was a fan of Above the Rim. And you know, he, a guy like Michael Mann comes to you and says, um, you know, he'd like for you to do a very important role which was the most important to me is how important the role is, not the size of it. And, um, you know, I need you to do a role that, that requires you not to say much, but you can say, but, but you can, but you can act and say everything with your eyes. Cause I saw you do that in Above the Rim. And I said, um, okay. And so I did it and it was a very pivotal role um, when you find out who I am. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was cool, but it was an uncredited role. Um, I didn't take any credit because I don't know what happened at the time. But it, was, it was probably one of those situations where I, I couldn't get the credit that I am accustomed to. So I just said, you know, it wasn't important to me. I just wanted to do mm. the movie, so I just did it. 